What's going on guys? It's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers. And today we're on location here in the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland, taking a look at a reptile we never thought that we'd be able to show you guys, at least not here anyway. This is the common five line skink. Believe it or not, this is actually the first lizard we've caught in the United States outside of Florida, so we are super excited to have this guy in hand. So if you guys are ready, let's take a look at the common five line skink. So here is the common five-line skink, one of the feistiest little lizards out here in Maryland. And take a look at this guy. It is not hard to see where they get their name from. They have those trademark five lines that run basically from their head all the way down through their tail. And it makes them very easy to recognize, although quite difficult to spot. Those lines do act as a bit of camouflage. But what I want to show you here is actually his tail, which you can see is actually bright blue. I have that perfectly in the frame. Yeah, that is gorgeous. It's such a cool little detail and very recognizable for these guys. And they're found all throughout North America from Canada right down through Florida and as well as in parts of the West, though this is a species that's endemic to North America. So they can only be found in this region. That's why we're so excited to actually get this guy on camera. Now where we found him is actually under a little pile of rocks right here and they prefer habitats of moist wooded areas with plenty of cover. So an area like this here on the Chesapeake Bay is perfect for this species. The common five line skink is primarily insectivorous, which means a large part of their diet will be made up of small arthropods, things like ants and beetles, spiders, pretty much any invertebrate that they can find out here in the forest. Now these guys have been known to take other prey items. They will sometimes eat little newborn mice and even other lizards on occasion. So they are pretty voracious. They will take just about anything that they can fit in their mouths. Now, being a lizard that is this small, these guys will only grow between 12 and 22 centimeters on average. They have a lot of predators out here. Larger lizard species, snapping turtles, a lot of birds, and a lot of different snake species would love to take down a little five line skink like this. And he has such a cute little head. You can see those big eyes. This guy is a visual hunter. So he's looking around in the leaf litter, trying to find prey and also to spot predators before they spot him. And you see those little holes right there behind his eyes? Yeah, I do. Those are actually his ears. So unlike snakes, which do not have ears, this guy does. So he is able to hear and see us. Though luckily, we were able to get a hand on him before he scampered away. This is such an incredible opportunity to film with another lizard species here in the US, something we don't get to do very much. Common five line skinks are notoriously difficult to catch. We've been seeing a couple of them throughout the day, and this is the only one that we've been able to get in hand thus far. And that is because this species is incredibly fast. If you were to feel along the body of this animal, it is incredibly smooth. These guys can glide through the leaf litter like it's going out of fashion and their legs though they are a little bit squat looking have sharp claws that allow them great purchase on the ground there's this back foot there on my finger if you want to take a look at that these guys have some serious speed and another thing that's interesting about the five line skink is they are quite a rambunctious animal you'll notice if I get my finger too close let's see if we'll do it he has been there yep. it is he has there been giving us is. a couple little bites, but luckily, though there are a lot of teeth in that mouth, they are just not large enough to pierce my skin. But look at that. He will defend himself vehemently from any predator out here. So if you are gonna handle this guy, make sure to keep your fingers away from that mouth. And one more note about handling the five blind skink, these guys are completely harmless. They have no venom. There's absolutely no way for this guy to hurt you. Though, when you are going after this species, make sure never to grab them by the tail. Like many lizards around the world, this species is capable of an ability called caudal autonomy, which as we've mentioned before, is the ability to drop your tail off in the event of a predator attack. So you notice he has a bit of a nub tail there. That's because he's actually dropped off his tail before. Now, as you can see, the skin is starting to grow back and actually there's a little bit of regenerated tail right there at the end. So we know that this is rather an old injury. This absolutely did not happen today. And that tail will grow back to almost its original size in the next couple weeks. So if you are gonna capture this species, it is incredibly safe to do so. Just make sure that you are treating them with as much respect as possible and watching out for that tail. 
it's not uncommon to see a five line skink come into an urban area. In fact, we found this little guy right next to a public park. So it's certainly not unfathomable to have these guys come into a house, into a backyard or a porch. But this is not a species you have anything to worry about. They're an integral part of the ecosystem here because as insectivores, they're taking care of species like flies and mosquitoes that would otherwise be quite pesky. But for humans, they really have a very little impact. They are a species of least concern, so they're not endangered in any way. So this is definitely a species that we can coexist with quite peacefully, which is good because they're a fascinating animal. We always want to treat them with the utmost respect. We are gonna get this common five line skink back under his rock right here. But this was such an incredible opportunity to be able to film with a lizard down here in Maryland. All right, I'm gonna let him go, ready? Yep. There he goes. Beautiful right. stuff. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode, taking a look at the common five line skink. This was definitely a pleasure for us to actually get a lizard in hand for a change. Yeah, and though there are lizards in Pennsylvania, we've actually never seen one there. So coming down to Maryland and getting a lizard in hand like this was absolutely amazing. And if you guys did enjoy this episode, leave a like on it and comment down below what you thought of this feisty little lizard. And be sure to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers now because we have so much content coming out for you guys, a lot more trips like this one down here in Maryland that you will not want to miss. So we will see all you guys in the next episode.